Hello everybody and welcome to another video. And today we're going to be looking at a band called Nothing More. Never heard of them before. So obviously, as is my usual bit of research, and I actually found quite a lot. Um, so I'm not going to go through a huge amount of it, I'm just going to um, go through some basic stuff here. <clears throat> and I found that Nothing More is an American rock band from San Antonio, Texas, formed in 2003. Now, the band spent most of the 2000s recording independent albums and struggling to maintain a steady lineup, and also struggling to find the attentions of any record labels. Um, towards the end of the decade, the band's uh, longtime drummer, Johnny Hawkins, decided that he was going to switch from being the drummer and become the lead vocalist of the band and to try and stabilize the lineup of the band. Um, he did this along with other members, uh, Mark, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, uh, Valilunga, uh, who was a guitarist, and Daniel Oliver on the bass. Uh, the band self-funded their fourth studio album, um, which was called Nothing More, I believe, and over the course of three years, they used it to gain the attention of a record label. Um, uh, who then signed the band to a five record deal. Uh, the album then became the band's breakthrough release in 2014 and garnered them many charting singles. So there you go. Had a bit of a tumultuous start, but they've finally, they finally got to where they wanted to be. Uh, it took them 11 or so years, but they finally got to where they were going. So, see, perseverance. Now, um, we're going to be looking at a track today called This Is The Time, parentheses, Ballast. Um, not sure why it's got the ballast on there, but anyway. Uh, I've got the lyrics up here. I'm not sure what sort of sound to expect from the band. Uh, it just says they're an American rock band, so that could be anything. So, um, yes, curious to see where this goes. Um, so, let's have a look. So this is the time by nothing more. When did we become these sinking stones? When did we build this broken home? Holding each other like ransom notes. Dropping our hearts to grip our brother's throats. song so far. It started off with that weird sort of almost robotic sounding voice um, as the intro to the song and it actually mirrors the actual first verse of the song. And then the music kicked in. It's 
it's actually pretty heavy. It's quite hard rock, really. Um, the guy's got a really good voice as well, and it reminds me of somebody else, and I cannot put my finger on who. And it's going to bother me for the rest of the video. Um, the song itself, I think, is talking about the way the world is at the moment, the way that everybody seems to have such hatred and prejudice against each other. You know, it, it's it's... If, if I'm reading it right, it's quite a good message, and it's actually something I talk about at the end of all my video with um, my support of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. But we'll have a look at the lyrics. It says, when did we become the sinking stones? When did we build this broken home? Holding each other like ransom notes, dropping our hearts to grip our brother's throats. You can't see because you don't know. You're caught below beneath your own shadow. Stuck inside, half alive, do you ever ask, stop to ask yourself why? Close your mind, identify. Do you feel? Do you feel? Do you call this a life? All you waited for, drowning just to keep score. We always start with good intentions, but we lose ourselves along the way. Then it came to the chorus. This is the time that we let it go. These are the words that'll take us home. Singing the song that's inside us all. If we don't open our eyes, we're walking blind. So just the opening lines of the song here. When did we become these sinking stones? Or when did we build this broken home? So it's like, when did we become so negative? When did we become such, you know, when did we start hating everything around us? Uh, you know, holding each other like ransom notes. It's like, holding a grudge against people, you know, even if they've done the tiniest thing that might irk you, you still sort of hold a grudge against them because of such a small thing. Or you hold a grudge against them when you don't even know, just because they may be a different race or maybe, you know, different religion or because they like different music or something like that, you know, holding a grudge against people you don't even know because they don't fit into what you consider normal or, you know, that they don't fit into your way of life. And it says dropping our hearts to grip our brother's throat. So it's like giving up on this whole thing, you know, love thy neighbour, you know, you're supposed to be kind and friendly to those around you. You know, we're sort of forgetting that just to, you know, hold contempt and anger at people just because it's easier, you know. So I like I like the meaning if that's what it's talking about. So uh, interesting. Let's carry on.
There we go. Walking blind, parentheses, ballast by nothing more. Um, I actually really quite like that song. It was really quite catchy. Quite an enjoyable track. Um, <clears throat> now, the song carried on. Anchored in anger, we exile ourselves. Bitter blood builds our prison cell. Darker water now fills our lungs. The depths of our hearts have blackened the sun. Then it goes back into that pre-chorus. You can't see because you don't know. You're caught below, beneath your shadow. Stuck inside, half alive. Do you ever stop to ask yourself why? Close your mind, identify. Do you feel? Do you feel? Do you call this a life? All you wait for, drowning just to keep score. We always start with good intentions, but lose ourselves along the way. And then the chorus came in again. This is the time that we let it go. These are the words that will take us home. Singing the song that's inside us all. If we don't open our eyes, we're walking blind. And it came in with a bridge which was vocalised in a very different way. It was quite quiet. It said, naked we come, naked we leave. Fools we are to hold tightly. We are free, we are free, we are the jail, we are the key. And then it came back in with two uh, variations of the chorus. Um, it says, this is the time that we let it go. Yeah, these are the words that will take us home. Singing the song that's inside us all, if we just open our eyes. This is the time that we let it go, and this is the pain we are forced to know. Singing the song that's inside, inside us all inside us all walking blind and like I said it's a really good song and if I'm picking up on the meaning pro uh, properly the way I think I am it's got a really good important meaning in it as well because I mean just at the opening of uh, verse 2 it says anchored in anger we exile ourselves you know we've got such contempt and hatred for people around us that we, we separate ourselves from everyone we sort of living very isolated lives now because we're t all too ready to hate anything we don't understand and it says bitter blood builds our prison cells which is pretty much the same thing you know like the vitriol the hating or whatever we've got for these people that we don't know that don't fit into our ideals you know we're we're segregating ourselves from everyone so we're building a prison cell around ourselves it's, you know it's Ridiculous. And I didn't actually um, investigate this bit uh, um, too much earlier. But, you know, there, there was that pre course And then it came up with that line, we always start with good intentions but lose ourselves along the way. I like that line. You know, because it's like, we always start with good intentions. We are born without, you know, when we're born, we are born without prejudices. We are born without hate. You know, we are born innocent. We, you know... We, we are born with everything in front of us. What we grow to loathe and hate along the way is taught. You know, it says we lose ourselves along the way. So, you know, you go through life. From the moment you're born, you're born without prejudices, without hatred. But as you go through life, you grow to learn these things. These things sort of encroach upon you. And, you know, you, you lose yourself. You lose that pure form of yourself, of who you were born as. So, you know, I really like that line. And then there's, of course, the chorus, which says, This is the time that we let it go. These are the words that will take us home. Singing the song that's inside us all. If we don't open our eyes, we are walking blind. So this is the time that we get it, let it go. He's like, look, isn't it about time that all this stopped, all this hatred, all this anger? Just let it go. You know, if we let it go, we can actually live a nice, happy, peaceful life. We don't need all this hate or prejudice in the world because it doesn't accomplish anything. You know. And he says, these are the words that will take us home. That, just that phrase, let it go. You know, these are the, this is the phrase that will, that you know, it will save us, it will rescue us, it will make us, you know, it will make us happy and peaceful. You know, it's, it's a great meaning, you know, talking about, you know, why is there so much hatred? You know, where did this all suddenly come from? You know, only a few years back there wasn't this much, you know, prejudice and hatred. I mean, you see it in the news at the moment, you know, People are, like, calling the police on African-American people who are having picnics in parks because they're having a picnic in the park. When did this become something to call the police about? When did people become so 
prejudice against that sort of thing. This sort of thing ended decades ago. Why is it coming back? You know, everybody's got, you know, so many people have got this hate towards Muslims because apparently all Muslims are terrorists, which isn't true. You know, it's a couple that are, but we, people have grown to hate an entire race just because of the actions of a few. You know, and this sort of thing, it's growing all the time. You know, and it's disgusting. It needs to stop, you know. But we're going to end up destroying ourselves as a, you know, as a race, as a whole human race. We're going to destroy ourselves because we're, cause there's so much hatred between us, you know. With the way things are going in America at the moment with a certain person saying that, you know, like, Mexicans and whoever it is, I can't remember exactly who it is, you know, all these immigrants, all of them are rapists and stuff like that. Well, that's not true. You know, it's ju they're just causing hate for the sake of it, to divide people. You know, we don't need division. You know, we need unity. We need to come together. And only when we work together can we maintain some semblance of peace and happiness you know we don't need to create conflict and that's exactly what this song is talking about and it is brilliant you know and it was well executed like i said the guy's got a great voice you know i'd be quite interested to hear some more of this stuff and the music was really really good you know it, it was actually pretty heavy i mean it said it was an american rock band this was actually heavier than i was expecting you know great song really enjoyed it love the meaning Very, very good. Can't think of anything else to say about it. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, if anybody would like to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so by all means. You can drop a comment in the comment section below or message me on my Facebook or my Instagram, or you could message me on my Patreon where you could also help to support me and this channel so I can create uh, future content and maybe even improve the quality of future content. Um, given that you know, I, I can't monetize any of my videos because they've got um, copyrighted musical content in them, so the bands that I review get all of the money from the entirety of the video. I don't get any share of it at all. Um, do know, though, if you do make a suggestion, um, it could probably take me a while to get around to it because I get suggested so many tracks every single day uh, that my list grows faster than I can record um, but I do write down every suggestion I get, so it will get done eventually. It will just probably take me a while to get around to it. Also, Metalhead Reacts is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, a British-based charity whose main focus is to put an end to hate crimes, mainly those that are aimed towards the alternative subculture. And it's something that I think is really important. It's something that needs more attention bringing to it. Because, you know, all over... The world every single time, day people getting a violent uh, pe <laughs> people are getting violently attacked because of their taste in music and you know it's, it's truly unacceptable that this is happening this is like what i was saying in the video before you know people are getting attacked and bullied and you know getting so much hatred pointed at them because they're different it's unacceptable, you know. What is the point behind it? It doesn't get you anywhere. You're not going to change who that person is just because you attack them. But, you know, attacking someone because of their taste in music is just utterly bizarre. It makes no sense. You don't attack people because they like different films. You know, you don't attack people because they like different TV shows. You don't attack people because they like different ice cream flavors to you. So why would you attack someone because they like different music to you? We're just creating conflict for the sake of it. It needs to stop. And, you know, people are getting severely hurt because of this, over something so petty and childish, you know. And when it comes to the point where a young woman, Sophie Lancaster, gets beaten to death because of her taste in music, things have become far beyond absurd. It's unacceptable that that sort of thing should happen. You know, just because someone likes something different to you is not an excuse to attack them. It is not an excuse to beat them to death. It shouldn't be allowed to happen. And it needs to stop. And this is what the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is all about. They want to put an end to this. 
they don't want another family to go through what they went through when their daughter was so brutally beaten that she died from her injury by a group, I might add. You know, it was a group of people. Her and her boyfriend were attacked by a group of, I think it was four or five lads. You know, two people walking home, minding their own business, set upon by a group and beaten so severely. You know, it's unacceptable. It should not be allowed. It needs to stop. So, if you'd like to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to the website in the description below. You can go over there, find out what they're working on at the moment, uh, find out what their uh, goal is, because they can explain it better than I can. And if you can help them in any way at all, even something as simple as one of these Sophie wristbands, which are like a pound on their web store, I think. They've got a whole bunch of other brilliant merchandise going on over there. But if you can help them in any way, the smallest amount can make the biggest difference. And the sooner we can bring more attention to this, the sooner we can stamp out prejudice, hatred, and intolerance everywhere. But I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.